teacher talking sports here and last night the second edition of the college football playoff rankings were released and no surprise number one is still Georgia but as of now the three teams that would be joining them in the college football playoff would be Alabama Oregon and Ohio State so undefeated Cincinnati just outside at fifth Michigan up to six uh, Michigan State coming off their loss to Purdue drops four spots to number seven Oklahoma eight Notre Dame nine and Oklahoma State rounds out the top ten Wake Forest suffered their first loss to UNC they dropped three spots from nine to twelve and shout out to UTSA Texas San Antonio uh, undefeated on the year were not ranked in the first playoff rankings they are 23rd this week so first thoughts um you know things that pop into my head seeing this are uh, it's very interesting that michigan is ahead of michigan state yes michigan state is coming off their loss to purdue but it was just a week prior to that that michigan state defeated michigan so being they have the same record uh, it's a tad bit surprising that as of now Michigan is ahead of Michigan State. Um, you don't see that with Oregon and Ohio State. Uh, on September 11th, Oregon was able to beat Ohio State. And even though uh, the polls have had Ohio State ahead of Oregon, uh, the college playoff rankings do recognize that Oregon did beat Ohio State and have them a spot above them for now. Uh, Oklahoma, yes, they haven't played a top-notch schedule thus far, but they're still undefeated in a major conference, the Big 12. Uh, they are behind five one-loss teams in the college playoff rankings. But if we look at the remaining schedule at Baylor versus Ohio, Iowa State and at Oklahoma State, uh, Baylor is 13th in the playoff rankings. Oklahoma State is 10th in the playoff rankings. And uh, there's a good chance that Oklahoma could be playing Oklahoma State again in the Big 12 um, championship game. So you have to figure if they win out, they should get in. And then we look at Ohio State's remaining schedule because uh, they also have quite the gamut remaining uh, starting this Saturday with Purdue, a team who has lost three times but has also beaten then number three Michigan State they were third in the playoff rankings until Purdue beat them and they also defeated a then number two Iowa um, they were number two in the polls as there was no playoff ranking at the time and then they end with Michigan State and at Michigan so you gotta think if they win that win the Big Ten of course uh, they're gonna be in the playoffs as well um, if you go to ESPN's website, they have this fun little thing that, you know, if you have a little free time on your hand, you could do a uh, playoff predictor who will make the college football playoff. So as you see, it lists the 15 teams with the greatest chance of making the college football playoff. As you see, Georgia, 96%, Alabama, 71 And I'm interested if they lose a second game, so it would probably be to Georgia if they were to meet in the SEC championship. So if Alabama were to lose that, will they get in? Oklahoma, 58%. Ohio State, 58%. Cincy, 50 Michigan, 25 Notre Dame, 20 Oklahoma State, 14 Here's the crazy one. They only have Oregon, who is currently number three in the playoff rankings, at 3% chance. Michigan State, 2%. Pitt, 1 And then Texas A&M, Ole Miss, uh, NC State and Wake Forest less than 1%. So l let's say if Alabama, let's say they went out, they went out the rest of the remainder of the regular season, but it does not win its conference title game. So even a two-loss Alabama team that loses Georgia in the conference title game, ESPN is predicting that they make the playoffs 68% of the time. So, you know, we'll see if that happens. Um, again, if you have time and you want to play around with that, that's ESPN Playoff Predictor. So you play out the season with our interactive predictor so you make the college football playoff. Um, but who do you think will be the four teams to make the playoffs? What are your 
Um, what do you believe is wrong with this week's playoff rankings? Of course, a lot of college football to go. We've seen a lot of upsets this season, and you know there surely will be more that might shake up the playoff. So we'll see what happens, but don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like on this video. Hit the bell for notifications. Share this with your friends. Let's help this teacher who loves talking sports grow on his new YouTube page. I'm out. Enjoy your day.